To prove that these more refined vehicles could mix it with their stablemates, they were tested on some of the world's toughest country and trails. They crossed the Sahara, battled Panama's Darien Gap, traversed rough terrain from Alaska to the tip of Africa, all to prove that Range Rovers could go anywhere. One of the most famous expeditions was the Camel Trophy. This arduous, gut-wrenching event was called the Olympics of off-roading. Each year, amateur teams set out to conquer the most challenging terrain in exotic locations. Almost impenetrable jungle, hills and rocky riverbeds, the utter exhaustion of crossing remote locations tested the skill and endurance of every individual and the machines. In 1982, eight two-man teams from four nations crossed New Guinea. When the roads turned from track to muck to roaring rivers, the teams welcomed the bemused but skillful assistance of the local people. Land Rover was quick to exploit the adventurous mystique of their rugged vehicles with a series of outrageous television commercials. Land Rover had conquered markets worldwide, except one, North America. Executives wanted to return to this lucrative watering hole, but research said an expensive sport utility vehicle was not likely to sell. Americans wouldn't pay for luxury when they wanted utility. Land Rover decided the research was wrong, and work began on a super luxurious version of the Range Rover. In 1987, the company offered American buyers an exclusive Range Rover, loaded with options never before seen on a 4x4. Power seats, locks and windows, a sunroof, leather, wood trim, and a premium stereo system. The gamble paid off. It sold out. The company re-entered the U.S. market just as the SUV boom was about to take off. Range Rover stood out as the only upscale model in the pack. An expedition was mounted to prove that it was more than an oversized family sedan. In 1989, a convoy of eight Range Rovers made the first thousand-mile crossing of North America's Continental Divide by motor vehicle. As the Range Rover was being rolled out around the world, engineers pushed on with high-tech innovations. They pioneered many four-wheel drive technologies to enhance safety and control. tough machinery to keep the car going where you wanted it to go. By the end of the decade, Rover needed a new vehicle to compete with sophisticated and reliable Japanese models like the Toyota Land Cruiser. They wanted a 4x4 that had the creature comforts of a Range Rover with the ruggedness of the original Land Rover. The result was Discovery, launched at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 1989. Available only in a sporty three-door model, the Discovery was marketed to a younger, less conservative driver. When it arrived in North America, Four Wheeler magazine named it the 1995 Four Wheeler of the Year. 
But following unfortunate British automaking tradition, it had its teething problems. Like the Land Rover models before it, Discovery joined the expeditionary ranks. The Camel Trophy was by now so popular that a million people applied for this tough off-road journey every year. Discovery drivers signed on to the crossing of Siberia. They wanted to prove that it was a genuine Land Rover, worthy of the legacy that began with the original Land Rover, now dubbed Defender. With the 1990s,